crackberry.com. Hey everybody, Blaze here for crackberry.com. Now, as you guys can see, I do have three devices sitting here in front of me. I do have an iPhone 4, a Samsung Nexus S, and a BlackBerry Bold 9900. Oh, yay! Anyways, uh, you're probably wondering why I have all three devices here, and I'm going to tell you. It's uh, because we're going to go ahead and do a little bit of a browser shootout if I can get my fingers to work correctly on all three devices. Um, each device has had their browser history cleaned out, each device has had their browser cache cleaned out, and all three devices are currently running on consumer available operating systems, I guess you could say. Um, no, uh, no iOS 5 beta, no Cyanogen mod build, and no leaked OS's for the BlackBerry Bold 9900. Um, the iPhone, however, just for full transparency, of course, is jailbroken but it doesn't have any browser plugins or anything loaded up on it so everything is copacetic there um, I did go ahead and take the liberty of creating some browser bookmarks hopefully in an effort to be able to go ahead and not screw this up with my fat fingers so let's go ahead and bring up the bookmarks on each page um, the book the the websites that we chose were uh, twitpic Mobile Nations and Wikipedia and the reason for that is because none of those websites load up a mobile version You're just getting the straight up goods on each and every single one of them um, All three devices are currently running on Wi-Fi, so there's no uh, carrier intervention or anything like that here Everything is just on the Wi-Fi Now again, hopefully I can get my fat fingers to cooperate here so We'll load up TwitPic first Hopefully, now let me see, this has to be like split second timing, so I'm pretty not great with my timing. One, two, three, and Nexus S, ooh, iPhone, and Blackberry, but that was pretty snappy, quick. So each device loaded up everything. The, the Nexus S was a clear winner, but the, uh, the iPhone 4 came in second. And the quite honestly, the, the BlackBerry Bold wasn't that far behind it from what I could tell anyways. Probably have to re-watch the video, but you guys can uh, let me know in the comments. So let's move on to the next site, and hopefully I can do that one just as good. Uh, bookmarks. This time we'll give Mobile Nations a go. If you haven't listened to any of the podcasts, then uh, skip on over there and give them a listen. Now, this might be a little bit trickier because the Mobile Nations podcast is down here. So, one, two, three. And I got them all. Woo! And iOS loaded up quick. BlackBerry's still going. Samsung Nexus S is done, but... Even though it said that it was still loading, there was still content there. Um, so the iPhone 4 took that one, Samsung Nexus S, and then the BlackBerry Bold 9900. Um, but moving in on everything here, let's see. A little bit of checkerboarding on the iPhone. And checkerboard on the bold 9900 as well it's kind of interesting you don't really have to expand anything on the Nexus S it actually just zooms it out far enough so that you can view all of the content that's available there so yeah that's the mobile nations website if you haven't listened to a podcast go ahead cheesy plug anyways uh, let's move on to Wikipedia bookmarks and bookmarks Alright, so that's Wikipedia, Wikipedia, hmm, wonder which one would be easier this time. They're both kind of a stretch. Uh, Mobile Nations, Wikipedia, one, two, three. iPhone 4, and the Blackberry. And that looked like another iPhone 4 winner and Samsung Nexus S with the 
BlackBerry really, really close behind. So, um, Research in Motion has uh, pretty much said that the BlackBerry browser at this point is, I do believe, 40, 40 or 50 percent above uh, what the BlackBerry 5 and BlackBerry 6 browser was. I do believe it was 40 percent above BlackBerry 6 and 50 percent above BlackBerry 5. Um, you guys can judge for yourself. Leave some comments there. Uh, I'm actually going to go back and watch the video and see exactly how each one fared out. But um, needless to say, it does look like the uh, the experience. Let's try one more here, and just to see because I know all of these languages are links. So let's see how that loads up on each one. But um, yeah, overall, I mean. The BlackBerry experience at this point does seem to be vastly improved from uh, from pretty much what we know of it. Um, no more waiting for the the websites to load up on JavaScript. All of that was uh, seemingly, you know, not far off from all of the other operating systems. So let's see here. One, two, three. And the BlackBerry one on the main page, from what I can see, yeah, interesting. Either way, so I mean, you know, when it comes down to the browser, it does uh, does look like the the BlackBerry has been uh, pretty much vastly improved at this point. Again, you guys can uh, leave some comments there. Let us know what you think and uh, whether or not it's uh, um, you know an improvement over previous versions. That's it. Blaze out.